okay because of my shoulder tendonitis I have enlisted a little bit of help in the garden this year helping the garden is all, always good this is my dad he'll be doing the rotor tilling see there's a real good look at him right there <laughs> sort of uh, but anyway he'll be doing all the rotor tilling I'll mostly be doing everything else including the spade work with the spading fork because I can kind of favor one arm and do that Rototilling is kind of a two, two-handed thing. I'll be planting uh, corn this year. This is where the corn will be going. Right there where he's doing the rototilling today, there'll be two rows of corn, and then just above that will wind up being another two rows of corn. I hope to plant this today, and the other will be uh, maybe 10 days to two weeks from now. You don't want your corn all come in at the same time. If your corn all comes in at the same time, it winds up absolutely working you to death, uh, silking it and putting it up and eating it and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, I'll be planting two rows of corn here shortly. I'll be planting both uh, Golden Queen and Silver Queen corn. I'm going to plant uh, one row strictly of Silver Queen corn because I like to eat it off the cob. And then uh, from, from the, there on out I'll be mixing the Golden Queen and Silver Queen up. And it will actually uh, cross pollinate and it's really threatening pretty bad so I need to quit running my mouth and start planting. 90% of the world <laughs> plants theirs by taking a, uh, a hoe and digging a, digging a furrow here with a hoe and then just dropping the seeds in there along the way, which I prefer not to do that. What I do, and that takes a lot more seed like that. I, I generally just, uh, I plant three kernels of corn across and then go a foot, three more, and go a foot, three more. It uses less corn, plus it's easier to thin later on. And doing it uh, the fur away with a hoe, you wind up with bare spots, it seems like. Uh, this was uh, quite a bit more trouble, but it's the way I prefer to do it anyway. And here's the corn I'll be planting on this uh, bottom row, Silver Queen hybrid corn. And this is like only a half a pound. And yeah, it costs five dollars and a half. So you can see why I'm interested in not using any more seed than I absolutely have to. So uh, let's get started. Three, three kernels. And this really is just about exactly the same way I plant the okra. So if you saw my okra planting video last year, you kind of know, kind of know what's going on. And generally speaking, I. Uh, bury them just about my second knuckle there which is uh, probably an inch inch and a half or so inch and a quarter to an inch and a half And this is the other corn I'll be planting, Golden Queen hybrid corn, uh, also five dollars and a half uh, for a half a pound. What I do on this part, I open the bag up, uh, of course, and I, I mix it. Pour all this in the paper bag, and all the Silver Queen goes in the paper bag. And then I mix it all up really good. They put some kind of red coating on it. I don't know what that's for. I think it's a, to keep the corn fresh, to keep it from rotting and or something, or rotting. Rotting and or rotting, one of the two. Almost any corn, I guess, maybe any corn, will cross-pollinate. So I'll wind up with, uh, you know, some ears that are totally silver queen, some ears that are totally golden queen, 
and there'll be some ears that's uh, partially uh, that the kernels will be mixed on it and uh, I, I kind of like it when it's mixed that's why I, if you mix it here well no matter even if I don't mix it here it mixes there a certain amount but if I mix it here it mixes there even more I'm babbling bye everybody that's pretty much it for the corn uh, yeah that's it <laughs> bye